Have you been seeing these new Ben & Jerry ice cream flavors and getting the itch? Well, you at the right place because I'm going to review them right now. What to do, what to do, it's your boy Big Ben. We back again with something new. You already know, something new just came out. It's something new we gotta talk about. What's going on, everybody? Today, we got something new from Ben & Jerry's. I got a little notifications from my foodie people, the people in the food community on the snacks and the latest, and they said, Big Ben, Ben & Jerry's dropped some new flavors. So I said, you know I gotta check them out. You scream, I scream, we all scream for ice cream, you know? And just like ice cream, I scooped them up. So we're doing a two for one review here. We got two different flavors that we're gonna check out right now. We got Ben & Jerry's Chip Happens and Ben & Jerry's Netflix and Chill. Really great names, really great names. Let's start with this Netflix and Chill right here. Ben & Jerry's. Netflix and chill, it's real cold, all frosted up. So this says uh, peanut butter ice cream with sweet and salty pretzel swirls and fudge brownies. So got the cows on the front, nice little peanut butter swirl. I like what we got, Netflix branding. Let's crack them open and see what we got on the inside. This thing is sealed tight. Okay. We gotta find out what's in here, people. So let's dig into this. I brought the kitchen with me. Get a little bite here. I'm not seeing a bunch of, you know, pieces in here, but let's give it a go. First bite, go ahead and smash that like for me. Do me a favor. Let's dive into this, Netflix and chill. Mm-hmm. 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 Taste of brownie pieces. Got the peanut butter swirl. I didn't, I didn't taste a whole lot of um, pretzel in there. Let's get a nice little bite. Yeah, now this is right up my alley. I'm, I'm, I'm a peanut butter fiend. I do love me some Jiffy, some peanut butter ice cream. So this is right up my alley, people. It's probably going to get a high score from me already. I'm letting you know. So let's get to these chunks. Here we go. Here we go. We don't struck gold. <laughs> like we mining. There we go. Now that's what I'm talking about. A little brownie chunk in there. Mm-hmm. Okay, now let's get a bite of that. Okay, now as you get deeper, it keeps going. So once you go over that little top sediment, that riverbed, and really get to the, the minerals and the gold and the copper and the silver, that's where you see the stuff on the front. So, mm hmm. Yeah, you guys, I've, I've had enough here. People, get this on your next grocery run. Netflix and chill. This is the type of ice cream you want when you Netflix and chilling. Self explanatory, but you know, you got you and your boot thing. You're going to have a hard time between this and your boot thing, which to give more attention to or y'all can split it and share it. But guys, this 10, 10 out of 10, love it. Let's get to number two, this chip happens. So I feel like it's winter time, I'm scraping off my car. Okay, chip happens. A cold mess of chocolatey ice cream with fudge chips and crunchy potato, potato chip swirls. I'm not, I'm, I'm a sweet and salty person, but I'm not a person that, that normally would think about mixing chips with uh, brown, you know, brownies and chocolate and all that type of stuff. Mm, keep them two things separate, you know? Crack it open, okay? Right off the bat. Ice cream number two. You already know what to do. Double check, triple check. Make sure you subscribe to something new. We trying to get to 100 subscribers. So I'd appreciate it. If you like the content, go ahead and subscribe. Come on back. Let's get into this. Wow. Guys, I'm a peanut butter lover. That Netflix and chill was knockout, but this one? Hold on, let me confirm what my taste buds initially Taste it. 
Little chip pieces. I can't really taste it. I guess those are little frozen chips in there. And it tastes good. <laughs> I might get me a bag of Lay's and a Hershey candy bar and just eat both at the same time. The way this thing tastes. Let me get one more good bite. Oh, this is a nice bite. This is what you get in this thing, you guys. This thing is, is loaded. I mean... You didn't have to dig far here. See, I always thought Ben and Jerry's was a little overpriced, but I'm, you know, both of these, I'm getting my value out of these. Mm-hmm. I gotta stop. Stop the video! <laughs> I gotta stop. Wrap it up. Mm-mm. 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 people this chip happens this might be a higher than a 10 i'm gonna give you the rating 10 out of 10 fantastic could be higher than a 10 if we really want to go there you guys get the drift get this on your next grocery run get this on your next grocery run too get both of them on your next grocery run hit me up in the comments below and let me know what y'all think about it i'm not ending the video but i'm just overwhelmed right now um this is fantastic I like the saltiness and the in the in the uh, chocolate and the sweet and this is a great balance, you guys. Ben and Jerry's knocked it off the park. Is not Ben and Jerry's is not usually my go-to, but based off of these two flavors, they may be my new go-to. Um, you know, one of the things we do is we respect the calories. You know, they actually oddly enough they both come in at uh. 1180 per container you know what you get with ben and jerry's let's not act surprised that's why they taste so good so yeah and i'm also going to give them a pass other than these two ice cream flavors being good i'm also going to give them a pass and they're going to be my new go-to because ben and jerry's is going hard in the paint speaking up about this injustice and how things have to change they have to change so i love ben and jerry's for speaking up not staying silent being extremely vocal out there protesting out there on the social media in interviews they are going at it and i love it i appreciate it i love that we are banded together i think that we are going to get through this and be stronger going through this i put on my social media account how i'm excited for the world that we're building for our youth for our children for our sons for our daughters it's unfortunate and it's and it's tough things that we're going through but at the end of the day we have to get comfortable being uncomfortable dealing with this head on calling it out not being silent vocalizing it using your voice using your platform um speaking out about this having these discussions at home with your family with your friends and again sometimes it gets uncomfortable but you know, we really do need to have those uncomfortable conversations to move our world, to move our community forward. I'll probably make a separate video about all that because I could go on for hours, literally. But again, Ben and Jerry's, love it. But guys, that's the video. If you like the video, if you rock with me the whole time, please leave a like. Don't share one, share twice. Drop me a comment. Let me know what you think should be my next content. Whether you're a regular or a first-timer, please subscribe and hit that notification bell reminder. Catch y'all next time. Peace.